Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is I'm Solo. I'm Captain of the Millennium Falcon. Bob. Up in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Hasta la vista, baby. Say hello to my new friend! Here's Johnny! Ah! What is up, guys, and welcome back to the 15th episode <laughs> of Slack in Chat. I hope all of you guys are having a wonderful Friday in this quarantine madness, but this time I am not alone, and this time I have Graham. I'll go. I didn't realize you were turning to my camera so quickly. All right. Um. <laughs> This time I got um, Graham, also known as Graham Cracker. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing great. Thank That's you. Fantastic. That is fantastic. Do you have a snack today on today's snack and chat? Yeah. What is it? You can't see it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, guess what? I got my snack, and that is um, red vines. Mm, mm. I just got a whole Red supply vines. of snacks over uh, here. Good stuff. It could be a song. Good stuff. Red vines. Uh, mm. Put them mm. in your mouth. Yeah, red vines. Uh, <laughs> the red. Red vines. Uh, I'm on snack and chat. All right, this is game more. All right. Ooh, okay, then. Well, as you see there, there we, that, that's the topics we're going to run down to today. But as you see at the bottom there, that's we're going to talk about the Snyder Cut. Now, originally, I was going to talk about it last, but due to some reasons, I want to talk about it first because that's what I'm going to do. All right. So, yeah, yeah, that's, well, that's what I'm going to do. So, anyways, ever since the theatrical version of Justice League came out in 2017, 2017, can you believe that the movie came out almost three years ago? Fans have been coming, oh, fans have been clamoring for a Zack Snyder cut of the film since he dropped out of the project during post production due to a family tragedy. And then Joss Whedon came in and he took over, and then there you go. And now it has just been announced that a Zack Snyder cut will be coming to HBO Max. Now, I know you, Graham have some thoughts about this i know you do i know you do i do so i do <laughs> what, what, what so, do you think about this madness you know i don't know everyone's freaking out they're saying you know the Snyder cut the movie saved the movie's gonna be amazing now but it's just mm -hmm. gonna be four hours of random <laughs> comic book characters like popping in and out with no like actual explanation mm. and if it's mm -hmm. four hours long then the plot is gonna be even more make no sense it's, I don't know. It could be it could be really great, but I think it's gonna be like fifty percent just like storyboards and then like green screen footage because I don't think he, you can't shoot two more hours of a movie on a budget of thirty million dollars with what he wants to accomplish. He wants to put in like dark side mm -hmm. in the movie, which is like a fully CGI character. You can't no re-edit that right? movie. Yeah, you can't re-edit a whole movie. It like it. It's just not possible. I thought he already shot that stuff, though. I don't think so. Did I think not? that that's, that's all, like, it was all planned, but then it just never happened. Now, who correct would play Green Lantern? Um, I know he um, shot more scenes Ryan with... Um, no. <laughs> I know he shot more scenes with, um, um, what's his name, Deathstroke. I know that there's more yeah, footage that they shot of that, yeah. but mm -hmm. I don't think that he shot any other stuff because the green lantern yeah. like shows up in the movie uh -huh. Uh -huh. now correct me if i'm wrong but some supporters of the snyder cut believe that there was an actual finished version made by Zack snyder right yeah yeah i don't think that right. well that i mean that's obviously not true because if warner brothers is getting in 30 million or whatever yeah dollars exactly and that means there was no completed version of it directed and made by Zack snyder so now, and if there was a completed version, wouldn't they have just released it earlier? Like, doesn't... Yeah. Maybe, probably. 
Now, I never really paid attention to the Snyder Cut stuff. I really just ignored it because I didn't really care about it. But I'm not going to lie. When they announced about this, I actually got pretty excited. And I kind of do want to see it because I just want to oh, see what it's all I wanna about. I want to see it. I want to sure. see it. Do you even plan on getting HBO Max? I think I already have it. Hasn't come out yet, though. Comes out May 20th. Oh, I have HBO. Does that count? Oh, over? yeah. I hope it does. I don't know. I mean, Otherwise, I have HBO I too. Uh, but I mean, what's the point of having HBO when you have HBO Max, where you can watch whatever you want, whenever you want? That's on HBO. So I don't for the same price. So yeah, I don't really I understand don't that. Okay. But anyway, how about, how about this? How about this? Yes. What are your three? What's your three wish list? Snyder cut. Like what I wish that happens. Yeah. In there? Three. If you're paying for HBO Max, you're spending your good, hard-earned kid critic dollars on it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You don't want that to go to waste. What are yeah. three things That's... that, if they don't three put on things. there, you're um, suing Zack Snyder? Another dope Batman action, like Batman v Superman. That would be amazing. Maybe some right. Aquaman stuff in there. Maybe some cool. Uh, I, I hope Dark Side's cool in it. Like at least I hope his appearance is like sick. You know, like whoa, that side right there. You know, I just want to have fun. That's, I want to have fun with it. You know what I mean? These girls, they just want to have fun. Oh, <laughs> these girls, they want to have fun. What would you like to see in the happen? <laughs> oh. Or your three things <laughs> that you like to see happen? I don't. I don't know. Um, I want to see. Less Steppenwolf. Mm, mm. His voice, his voice. Um, I forgot who voiced him. Oh, it's gonna hurt yeah, my brain. But some his voice like, was good, guy, right? Mm. It was like some like I don't think he speaks a lot of English, right? I forgot. It's, I don't know, but his voice yeah. was nice. I like yeah, that. Yeah. I mean, you don't, you don't know. Maybe they left out some cool Steppenwolf scenes. I mean. Well, I'm sure yeah. we're probably going to get more Steppenwolf for sure. Yeah, probably more but, Steppenwolf, which I don't know. He kind of, yeah. I feel like if they had a really solid villain, then the movie would be looked at from a completely different perspective. Because the Justice League, like the team was cool. Like they were fun. Like Aquaman, Batman, Wonder Woman, like they were fun. Yeah. Even Cyborg, who I think is yeah. actually pretty underrated. It was honestly, the finished product wasn't as bad as I think everyone remembers it being. Yeah. It was just so like, it was just really messy. How so much that drama around it the left movie a bad t- taste. Yeah, uh, how do you rank your DCU movies? I haven't seen Birds of Prey, but um, um oh shoot. <laughs> well, in the meantime, Shazam, I used- Shazam, 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 number one. Yeah, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, mm-hmm. Man of Steel. Mm-hmm. I don't care after that. <laughs> I'd, I'd, probably after go, that. <laughs> I'd probably go number one, Man of Steel, two, Wonder Woman, three, Shazam. Mm, mm, you might freak, but I'm going to go four, Batman v Superman, five, Birds of Prey. I don't know, Birds of Prey and Bat- Birds of Prey is a lot of fun, though. Six, Aquaman. I thought Aquaman was fine. Seven suicide suicide squad. Yeah, because that, that, that movie stunk for me, to be honest with you. But anyways, put leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you think about the Snyder Cut and everything with the Snyder Cut and all the news and what do you expect and all that good stuff? So with that yeah. said, with that said I gotta go to dinner. All right. Well, so. there goes Graham. See you later. Thanks for your thoughts. On, on the Snyder Cut and I will see you soon. I love you all. Toodles. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's get back to it. Now, let's start talking about our topics, our movie news topics in order. So let's first start off with this. Now, I don't have this actually on the list, but I just recently watched the the new Netflix movie, which was supposed to come out in theaters, and that is Lovebird, starring Camille Nanjiani. And um, 
I enjoyed the trailer. I thought the trailer was pretty. There were some funny moments in it, and I I love Camille Mangiani. I think he's a really funny actor. I mean, obviously, there's that big thing of him getting absolutely ripped for the internals, which I thought was absolutely crazy. Um, even Issa Rae is also in there, and after watching, I just recently watched it. I I thought the movie was okay. It was okay. I think you can get a couple good laughs from the movie especially in the scene that you, you see in the trailer where all those people are wearing masks. That scene was pretty funny. Camille Nanjiani and Issa Rae are good in the movie. And I think it's a fun movie that you can probably watch with your significant other. But at the end of the day, I just don't think it would be a movie that I'd watch again. And overall, I just thought it was okay. You can get a couple of good chuckles in there and good performances, but I just wouldn't watch it again. And again, as I said in my review for, I believe in, um, uh, and for Capone, I just think there's better options out there like Extraction, the half of it, and which I I guess it's kind of sort of a rom-com. I think that one's probably a better rom-com also coming of age movie. And yeah, so that's what I think of Lovebirds. And let's move on to the next topic. And that is this. Now, a new trailer has come out for Spike Lee's new upcoming Netflix film, The Five Bloods. And it's starring Chadwick Boseman. And I got to tell you, I really like this trailer. I found the plot to be really intriguing. I didn't really know much about this movie before the trailer. So I thought the plot was really intriguing. Um, I didn't know Paul Walter Hauser was in this movie, who was just recently a Richard Jewell. And I thought he was amazing in that movie. So it's cool to see him in this flick. Um, I loved Spike Lee's last movie, Black Klansman. So I'm definitely looking forward to what he does with the Five Bloods. And I'm definitely looking forward to this. And I'm sure this movie is going to kind of deal with that war trauma that these guys have from the Vietnam War, especially seeing them go back to Vietnam. So I'm sure it's going to definitely deal with that stuff. And I'm definitely looking forward to this film coming out i believe june 12th on netflix and with that said let's talk about another trailer that just came out last night i even did a trailer reaction to it and that is tenet christopher nolan's new upcoming film tenet and once again like the five bloods trailer i also really enjoyed this trailer and look the action in this trailer incredible absolutely incredible it looks like it, look for, it looks intense big um it looks it, look, it looks the action scenes look like it would be amazing to see on the imax screen on a big huge imax screen with the big speakers that just looks amazing um i thought hans zimmer was going to do the score for this but he isn't and i also found out that ludwig Gorenson is doing the score for this and that is awesome absolutely awesome i think he's one of the best young composers out there right now he just recently did the score for the mandalorian and then he also did the score for creed and black panther which i think are all amazing scores like you could really just get pumped up with all those scores and just jam out so i'm definitely looking forward to this i, th I think it could be an awesome action movie and who knows we could possibly be looking possibly be looking at a next inception so who knows there but i'm definitely looking forward to christopher nolan's new upcoming film tenet but it also didn't say anything about the release date in the trailer i mean it didn't say it's coming july 17th like the first trailer did but i still think this trailer is a sign that warner brothers is still looking at that july 17th release date because if they weren't then why put out this when if you're going to delay it by the time it comes out, people are just going to forget about it. But I, I, I think this trailer is a signal that Warner Brothers is still looking at that July 17th release date. So we'll have to see what happens in the coming month or so. So with that said, let's move on to the next topic. And that is the Oscars. The Oscars, ladies and gentlemen. It has just been reported that the Academy is considering to postpone the show an article from a variety reports that the 93rd Oscars aren't until February, but the, but the um, Academy of motion pictures, arts of sciences is considering postponing the big night. According to multiple sources, the sources who spoke on the condition say definitive plans are far from bit from being concrete at this juncture. The telecast is currently set for February 28th 
2021 on ABC. And then it says, quote, it's most it's it's likely they'll be postponed and quote, one of the sources familiar with the matter told Variety. Now, it makes sense that the Oscars are considering to postpone the show with everything that's been going on. But as of today, as of today, because uh, as all I mean, for all I know, things can change within five seconds right now. But knowing what we know today. I'm fine with them postponing the show, which is what Variety most likely says, because again, of of everything that's happening. Now, do I see them canceling the show? No, I don't think so, because you got Spike Lee's movie coming to Netflix, The Five Bloods, Tenet, Dune. I mean, you just can't ignore these movies. These are like big movies directed by big directors right now. Again, as far as today, I don't see the Academy canceling the Oscars for next year. Postponing, yeah, for sure. And that's what Variety says it's likely to happen. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the Oscars likely to be postponed for next year, 2021. So with that said, let's go on to the next topic. And that is heat. Heat, that is right, folks. Michael Mann's heat. It has just been reported this week. That Michael Mann, who again directed the original 1995 Heat, is currently working on a Heat prequel as well as has plans for a sequel. And an an article from Slash Film says, Michael Mann has been talking about a Heat prequel novel for a few years now, which Mann fans got excited. The novel hasn't been published yet, but Mann has provided an update on the project and confirmed he'd very much like to make the prequel novel into the movie he's also interested in making a sequel and we can only hope he'll actually get around to making both of these movies happen one of these days michael mann will give us the heat prequel novel he's been teasing since 2016 it was that year when Mann closed a deal to launch michael mann's books and revealed he would be working on a prequel that would follow the formative years of homicide detective vincent Hanna, which was played by al pacino neil mccauley who was played by robert de niro And Michael Mann also came out with a quote that said, it's a stack about 10 inches high on my desk, basically talking about all the stuff that that he's been working on, the Heat prequel. Um, He said, we're on it, and I'm putting time into that and a screenplay I can tell you about. I can't tell you about, excuse me. But I absolutely want to make a movie of the Heat prequel and a sequel. Now... First of all, speaking of Heat, if you guys have not seen my recent Kid Critics Classics on the movie Heat, surprisingly, make sure you go on and check that out. But I'm all about this. I mean, I'm down for a prequel and a sequel to 1995's Heat. I Again, I really enjoyed the original 1995 Heat. But, I mean, you would think that they're going to recast, especially if they're doing a prequel, that they're going to recast Al Pacino's character and then De Niro's character. Because, you know, they're a little bit older than they were in 1995 now. So I'm guessing that they'd probably recast and I have no problem with that. And I mean, I didn't even read the novel that Michael Mann's developing for this Heat prequel. I definitely watched that. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what will happen with the Heat prequel and a sequel. But other than that, there's really nothing else to it other than I'd be looking forward to a, a... a a prequel and a sequel to Michael Mann's 1995 Heat, which again is a film that I really enjoyed. Now let's move on to the the next topic, and that is Deadpool 3. That is right, folks, Deadpool 3. It has recently been reported that we might not see Deadpool 3 for another five years. That is right, folks, for another five years. Right now, I'm reading reading an article from Variety that says, that says, okay, it says Marvel fans shouldn't expect to see a new Deadpool movie for at least five years, according to the character's comic book creator, Rob Liefeld. In an interview with io9, Liefeld explained that he's seen the Marvel Cinematic Universe schedule for the next five years, and Deadpool 3 isn't on the docket. Until a movie is put on a schedule, it's not taken seriously. And what people don't like is that I have assessed the schedule for the next 
give or take five years. And I don't see Deadpool on it. I don't see that it can arrive any earlier than that, end quote, he said. Now, this doesn't come as this this doesn't come as a surprise to me, to be honest with you. I mean, when Feige went up and announced Phase 4 and all the Disney Plus series that are coming, there wasn't even a mention of a Deadpool 3. Plus, he, he's introducing characters like Blade, eventually Fantastic Four, and X-Men. And I just don't see Deadpool being on that priority list right now for Kevin Feige. Now, would I mind not seeing another Deadpool movie? No, not really, to be honest with you. I think we got two solid Deadpool movies that I'm totally cool with. I wouldn't mind there not being another one. Like, I wouldn't be totally bummed not seeing another Deadpool movie. However, I love Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool. I think he is absolutely flawless as the character of Wade Wilson, also known as Deadpool. So this doesn't really come as a surprise to me, but definitely leave me a comment down below on what you think about the Deadpool 3 and how it's basically you're not probably not going to see another Deadpool 3 for the next five years. So with that said, thank you for joining me on this episode of Snack and Chat. I hope all of you had a wonderful time. And with that said, don't forget to like and subscribe because that is very important. And make sure and leave a comment down below. What did you think of the topics that we ran down through today? And as always, look out for the next video or review. And peace.